Welcome to Serenity Productions. So, am I allowed to start asking questions now that we're in the ethereal? Alright, then my first one is, how do you have your own personal portal? I don't know many people that have clearance to have something like that right in their office. Business? What business? I thought you were a student. What student is allowed to operate in pen affairs? Oh. My. Gods. Oh, wait, 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 hold up. Your brother's... Marvin? As in, head council member Marvin? Well, yes, I'm in shock. I didn't know about that. How could I not have known that? You might not like to spread the word about it, but people gossip. And that is something you gossip about. Alright, but even if your brother is on the council, I still don't see why you're pulled into some of those affairs. And what is your status? Shut up. I'm sorry, Frost Giant, say what? No, I got that, just... Just... Could, could you stop walking, please? Stop, just hold up for a second. Are you telling me that I've been hanging out with the next in line to the Frost Giant throne? Pinch me, I must be dreaming. This can't be happening to me. It's a huge fucking deal. Shut up about the pun. Not only is your brother one of the council members, but you are literally the prince to an entire region in the Ethereal. What the fuck are you doing going to the pen school? You don't even need to. Normal? What part of your life did you think would be normal? No wonder why you're so popular. Wait, aren't you younger than Marvin? Then why are you next in line? Oh, that makes sense. Being on the council is considered a very high honor. And for safety reasons, you wouldn't want the council member also being the leader of a species. Gods above, how did I get into this? G give me a minute, I need to process. Carry me? I can walk and process at the same time, okay? And why would it be faster if you just carry me? Why would you need to take off your medallion? Can't we just regular walk to where we're going? Oh, really? And just, how far away is it if we were to just, you know, both walk? Three days? Three days? Where is he taking us? Oh. And I'm guessing you can cut that down by a lot at your normal height. Right. Of course I'm nervous. The biggest I've seen you was at the apartment, and I'm pretty sure that is not the biggest you get. Of course I still trust you. Doesn't matter if you're a prince now. If anything, should I be calling you your royal highness when addressing you? <laughs> Alright, do I need a backup or anything? I don't know. This will be my first time that I'm seeing you like this. You know, 
Full frost giant. No hole bars. His laugh is still infectious. I'm happy to see him smiling again. He's been so serious lately with everything that's been going on. Okay. You do your thing. By the gods. I never realized how big he could get. He must be at least 20 feet tall. Can you still hear me? Gods, you're shaking the ground just laughing. I'm fine. Oh yeah, just get into his hand, Iris. It's not like he can crush you if he's not careful. Are you gonna carry me the whole way there like that? Oh, on your shoulder. Okay, that's a less scary thought. Come on, Iris, it's frosty. Alright, you drop me though, and I won't forgive you. Now what? <gasps> Oh gods! Oh gods, that's high! That is very high! Yeah, I got it. Whew. Uh, who, who did your clothes, by the way? Uh, the charm on them? Well, because I might want to recommend them to the Naga that Derek is seeing. Yup, I'm as stable as I'm gonna get. Open them? Is he insane? No, thanks. I think I'll keep my eyes closed. Fine. <sighs> wow. I never knew the Ethro could look this beautiful. Well, now I really feel like I'm in a mundane fairy tale. Yeah, I'm still here. I still have a few questions for you, you know. For right now, though, just let me enjoy this view for a few moments. So let me get this straight. You had to convince your father to let you go to school. Even though you should be training to be king. I mean, I had to convince my mother, but I wasn't going to be the new head of the Gorgons. You're weird. I mean, you're already explained why you want to do it, but still. You're a prince. Oh, are we here? Y 
Yeah, I'm ready when you are. Wait, don't you have to let me know? <gasps> that was not funny. Never do that again. Next time, put me down before you change back. How did you find this place? I guess you could find a lot in a day just walking. <laughs> I can smell the salt air from here. Are we near the seas? I didn't realize I've been brought so close to my home. I forgot how much I missed the salt breeze. Yeah, let's set up. <laughs> hmm. No, it's... It's fine. I'm okay. I'm just a little homesick, I guess. <laughs> I could go back. But I'm just worried if I do... I might not want to leave. Home is safe. Everyone is like me. I don't get called a monster. I can just be me there. No sunglasses or ruin to worry about. No people looking at me scared. I could just be at peace. Have I ever told you about how I got into the program? <laughs> it wasn't easy. No one thought it would be a good idea. Not the board, or my family. Even my elders were strongly against it. But I knew if just one of us could get a job at the pen, in some way, shape, or form, Maybe we could finally change how people saw us. Funny enough, it was the Wiccan Council member that advocated for me. I think it was truly because of his own curiosity, but it was enough. It was my ticket into the school. He's my sponsor, I guess you could say. And after months of going back for appeals on the original decision, I got in. On probation for my first year, mind you. And I almost got kicked out a few times. <laughs> like I said, some teachers really didn't want me there, so they tried to flunk me out. There was one teacher that always had my back, though, those first two years. She was my dead languages teacher. Ever seen a water sprite get mad? <laughs> yeah. No one walks out of the room dry. Between her and my sponsor, I barely kept my position. And finally, this year, I was allowed in without probation or anything. I had earned my spot. I would like to say that my clan is proud of me, but... They still want me to just come back home. And with what happened... If Mom ever found out, I'm sure she would force me to come back. Mm. 
No, I haven't told her. And I'm not going to. I'm not going to let that asshole ruin what I work so hard for. Am I scared of what happened? Yes. Am I scared that people are going to blame me? Of course. But I will not allow that fear to hinder me from doing what I came here to do. I will get into the research department, and I will show everyone that Gorgons are not monsters and we deserve a seat at the table as well. What? You're staring at me, what is it? When did he get so close to me? Were his eyes always that fierce? I don't know about brave. Maybe stubborn. Cool breath. Now you're just laying it on thick. Then how do I make you want to be brave too? Why am I letting him just take off my glasses like that? Frosty. <laughs> see my breath. <laughs> Guess that's what I get for kissing a frost giant. That was my first kiss. I kid you not. <laughs> How long have you wanted to do that? That's a while now. <laughs> Since you pinned me against the locker. <laughs> what can I say? Kabadons are really effective. Kabadon, it's when you... It's from... Who cares? Just... Just kiss me again. <laughs> What are we gonna tell Annabelle and Derek? We can talk for hours, take a shot. Well, I know Annabelle will be screaming from the rooftops. <laughs> Derek likes you, so I think we'll be okay. Frosty, are you sure? I mean, you're a fucking prince. Shouldn't you be with a princess or something? <laughs> if you start calling me that, I swear. Okay. <laughs> now we get to call me that in private. Is this really happening? Oh shit, did I say that out loud? <laughs> well, I can think of one way you could prove it to me. <laughs> Keep kissing me. me